Okay guys, um, <clears throat> got the uh, got all my connections cut. I got six of them here. Okay, now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be connecting them to the bullet connectors. I uh, got my um, bullet connectors here. Uh, you know, it's always a good idea to save these connectors from you know if you buy a new motor offline. You know, uh, buy a new motor. Usually they'll come with a pack of these. Uh, extra bullet connectors in case you don't have uh, bullet connectors installed on your ESC they come with they come with a bag of uh, bullet connectors um, for your ESCs so it's always a good idea to save them just in case you know uh, you know right now is a perfect example of a time that you would need them so you know you got the mail the males and the females and uh, right now what we're going to do is we're going to start with the the males so this one this one right here i'm gonna hopefully the camera can focus in on that but this is what we're going to start with so we'll go ahead and set three of these down okay and then we're going to put the females aside let me go ahead and move that so you can see and then if you're wondering this is how I clean my soldering tip so okay now we have our uh, e we have our oh before we do that let's go ahead and prep our uh, we gotta prep our wires so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our exacto knife I'm gonna cut about about a millimeter to two millimeters off the sheath just roll it you could just roll it and it cuts it really nice and you just take it off like that it just comes right off you don't need a lot you do not need a lot um actually let's go you can let's just go ahead and make a little bit more of a cut you don't need a lot but you also don't want too little or else when you put it inside the connector you 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 know you want a good bond but you don't want too much of your wire exposed so it's good we'll go ahead and work with this okay and then the next one we'll go ahead and just uh do the next one as well cut it at the same same spot And then what I do, uh, one, what I do after I cut these, is I just kind of spin the spin the wire, just twist it, just to make sure it's all together. Okay, and then we're, we'll do one more. Okay, and how we're gonna prep these again? We're gonna we want to so put some solder on these. So I've got my helping hands here. Let me go ahead and try and zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, got the solder or got the uh, the wire here. And then uh, we're just gonna. Go ahead and clean our soldering tip. Put a little bit of solder on the on the iron. Then we're gonna put the and again when you when you're heating up these wires, you want to heat up the wires, not so much the solder, because you want you want to make sure that the solder soaks into the wire. See, if you could see, 
let me go ahead and try and go ahead and zoom out a little bit or not zoom out but let's see come on my camera's trying to focus let me go ahead and zoom out there it is okay so you see how there's not a lot of uh not a lot of solder throughout the throughout the wire it's just it's it's in in the wire it's not like a huge glob it's actually soldered into the wires so that's good because when it melts into the connector it's going to have a good solid grasp on everything it's not just going to be on the outside so we'll go ahead and uh, do the other two I'm trying to readjust my camera. Okay, we'll go ahead and do the other two. So what happened here was I accidentally bent some of the wires down so they didn't they didn't bite onto the solder so what I did I just bent it back up and heated them up and the solder went ahead and, and flowed into the to the wire so now they're holding on so that one's good and then on to the, the last one for now and then we're after we do that then we'll go ahead and uh, heat up the the connectors and put them put the wires inside the connectors. Okay, now now we have the now we have the connectors here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our soldering iron inside these these little uh, connectors usually have a little hole right here if you can see how I'm, there's a little hole on the side you put your put your uh, soldering iron in there and then you put some put some solder inside make sure that there's some solder in the cup and then you go ahead and put your wire down and once you see the wire the solder on the wire start to start to heat up and you go ahead and slide your slide your connector in or slide the yeah slide the wire in Next one, put some solder inside. Okay. And take your wire, set it right on top until it starts to flow. And then once it starts to flow, and you just give it a little, you slide your iron out, and then you just slide your while you're in. Okay. Okay guys, here I got the uh, all the connections soldered. I got six of them. 
So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect it to the motor and to the ESCs and then uh, I'll show you what it looks like in just a second. Alright here's what it looks like. Everything's connected. Uh, the motors, got the, got the wires hooked up. Still room in here for any other wires but luckily all the other wires that I need to have in here are already uh, already wired. The only thing I need to do is hook up the connections like for the the servos the servos here I need to shave a little bit of this off here so I can fit this servo inside that spot uh, just a few just a few things you know there's not a lot of things I need to do with this jet but uh there are a couple things that I do want to take care of before I put everything together so one step at a time this is how uh, this is my update for now uh, I'll do another video in a little bit on uh, me setting in the uh, the EDF units into their spots. Uh, and then that's it. Thanks. Thanks for watching, guys.